All right, hello everyone, my name is Dennis and Dan, and welcome back to European Universalis 4. We are playing the Cossacks expansion as Japan, and we have been able to stabilize our country quite a bit by paying off some of our loans in the last episode. We are now making quite a lot of money, which is great. Uh, we still got four loans to go, so that is still our main objective now. for now. Uh, we really, really, really want to get rid of those um, interest payments that we are making here. And after that, well, let's see if we can um, get a royal marriage going with uh, Ming. Because we lost that royal marriage once uh, when our king died. It's a bit of a shame. Gained a core province. Nice. Yeah, so our two colonies uh, were done here. That's great as well. Uh, cheap iron. We should take advantage of this. A trillion cost minus 10%. Interesting, but not really helpful, I think, to us. Um, although we have... 12 spots in our army force limit, but I think we won't be filling those uh, right now because of the financial situation that we are still in. Uh, development of iron working. P price of iron changed by plus 50%. Price of copper changes by minus 35%. Interesting. Uh, we can convert some dudes here. You might want to do that. Let's just do it. We are here anyway, and there's no rebellions going on. Education for a shogun. The tragic passing of the previous shogun has left Yoshinobu Burkia without a parent, but not without guardians or tutors. Advisors serving at the court are preoccupied with giving him the best education available in preparation of ruling Japan. Hoping to gain favor and influence in the future, many people try to serve as a primary influence. Ultimately, one of them is likely to succeed, impacting what sort of ruler Yoshinobu Burkia will turn out to be. Let's see. An advisor working in the administrative division will provide the best education. Will increase his administrative skills, diplomatic mind, increase diplomatic skills, or a warfare advisor uh, will increase the military skills. Okay, uh, let's see what he has currently. He's got a 4-2-3. So I guess it makes sense um, to focus on diplomatic. Uh, the thing is, though, that I really want to... Keep on focusing on military power, because that will give us the edge over Ming, I think. Because I believe uh, the Netherlands is already at tech level 17, Ming is only at 14. We are now at 15, so we've still got two levels to go. And also, we just took out quantity ideas. Uh, so I think uh, we will go with the uh, military dude, even though our Diplo tech will lag behind a bit. I don't really care about that. We are Diplo tech 14 anyway, so that's fine. Right. Very well argued there, that decision. Not sure if it's, right, if it's the right one, but uh, eh, we'll see. Let's see. Uh, nobles demand privileges, ignore their demands, or accept their rightful claims. How's their um, states doing? Noble nobility, 55% loyalty. Uh, national unrest for a year? I think that won't be a problem. And. Uh, 50% will be fine, I think. So ignore. Don't want to lose the... Uh... Oh dear. Oh, that's not going to cause a spawn, right? Um, okay, recall with Ming. Can we royal marriage? Yes, we can. Nice. That's good. It's a sort of buffer, I think, against them attacking us. Which we uh, quite badly need. Because if they attack us right now, we would be in a lot of trouble, probably. We are now more advanced than they are, but not so much as uh, that I want to fight them. I think um, we will take the uh, levy en masse. Uh, to increase our manpower modifier. We could also go with this. Let's see. Training fields. Local manpower modifier plus 100%. Uh, would be good-ish. Um, a new cannon. Combat width. This is an important level. Artillery fire plus one, artillery shock plus ten. Oh, ten. Uh, actually, I think we will again choose for uh, choose uh, this option rather than going with this one. Yeah, I think we can afford to wait. Um, let's see. We can go with admin tech increase here. We will do that. Um, and after that, we will gain production efficiency. That is nice. Allows administrative mon monarchy or administrative republic. I don't think that is uh, really helpful to us. Let's see. National manpower. Income from vassals plus 25 and autonomy chains. Okay. Production efficiency plus 10. Tax modifier plus 5. 
Um, income from vassals is not really helpful because we don't really have a lot of vassals. Do we have any vassals? Kiowa. Not really helpful, is it? <laughs> They're paying us some money at least. Oh well. Um, so that's not important to us. That's interesting. Uh, but I think this will probably drop some... Uh, let's see. National tax modifier is nice. I'm thinking it will drop us uh, to uh, a lower stability level. Will it not? Can't see, though. Production efficiency plus 10. don't really care about the national manpower modifier because we will be increasing that. And it's not the main problem. The main problem is the uh, force limit. Should we just do this? Production efficiency plus 10. Tax modifier plus 5. Let's just see. We've, we are making... Are we making anything from vassals? Only Kiowa. So that's not important at all. Uh, so we are now at 12.14. And I think it uh, should be good. Change your legitimacy to 35, which it already is. That is fine. Um, what did I say? 12.14? 13.18. Nice. Okay, so we are no longer... Uh, 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 what, what were we before anyway? I don't know. Freedom monarchy, I think. Yes. Okay, very good. Making more money now. And we can already repay another loan. Uh, after this tick. Yes, there we go. Nice. I like it. Very good. This is a good period, I think. It's a sort of a quiet period in our history, but I think one that we needed if we are to stand a chance against Ming. Okay, we can now uh, focus on military attack again. Bam. Combat with artillery fire plus one, artillery shock plus 010, and training fields enabled, and a new cannon. Very good. Bam. So we are now at 16. Ming is still at 14. That is very interesting. Um. Yeah, we are not doing anything with missions. I know that. Remove zap attack from the Mac. Uh, Khan as Sula, convert Darren to Shinto. Uh, we are working on that, are we not? Let's see. Yeah, we'll take that. Although the problem is missionary strength plus one. Yeah, that's not really useful. That's the problem with these missions. It's I uh, don't really care about them. Uh, we could go over here, probably. We could spend a bit of gold coins for one colony. Just to make this one block. I think that might be nice. Change government form for Majapahit. Heat. Administrative monarchy as well. Interesting. Uh, we can go for the galleons, early frigates, naval maintenance plus 10%. Ooh. Colonial range. But settler increase as well. Uh, I think we'll just leave that for now because of the naval uh, increase. Recall diplomat with the Netherlands. They are still in war with the uh, Netherlands and Sweden as well. Whew. Heavy stuff for those guys. Right, there we go. A nice block. Although Buryata is still in here, which is a shame, I must admit. Japanese Siberia, very good. Well, we might be uh, able to circle around here. If we get closer to Bukhara, that would uh, allow us to uh, ally them, perhaps? Because the main problem here is... Well, Buryata. Okay, no, well, that's fair enough. And the distance between borders. Now, that would be uh, avoidable by just uh, coming around here. Russia is formed, by the way. That's interesting. Commonwealth. The Khmer. They would want to ally us. They are friendly towards us. And they are still in a war against the Hesevi. Hassanvi. Hassanvi. I guess. Uh, royal marriage would be nice, perhaps. Uh, but I'm sort of scared that they uh, might be attacked by Ming. They have some alliances going on with Pegu. Uh, here, not very impressive. And Sukhothai. Not really impressive either. So if Ming attacks, then it's all uh, coming down to us. That's not really helpful. 
Mm, especially not with our ally in Buryata that is not coming, uh, joining in in that case. Uh, I think we'll just uh, wait again. We could use an ally against Ming, but there's not much happening anyway at this point. Okay, Machapit will be forced to give Sweden 10% of their income. War operations. That's probably not what Sweden wanted in the first place. We probably wanted to gain a foothold here. Uh, should we improve relations with Sweden as well? I think that might be nice. Lots of Westerners coming in. It's good that we have already Westernized. Um, that will probably allow us to uh, be more of a force against any Western power that might be coming in. We've got a rush of colonists. Uh, receive extra colonists or monetary benefits. I think we will go with this. Because if the colony is done sooner, then we can go on um, repaying our loans anyway. Do it. And now the question becomes that we want to take another colony here. Might be somewhat nice. Those colonies are not powerful, I admit, but it's, it's at least it's land against Ming that we might be able to throw in there in, in a... Uh, peace deal or something along those lines. This might be nice, though. Hmm. Not really interested in this anymore. It's good to have, don't get me wrong, but we are focusing on Ming. Uh, because uh, what I want to do is, uh, because we now have that increase in settler chance, I wanted to take advantage of that by getting a colony. But I think our um, money is still first priority for us right now. Recall with England. Still making quite a lot of money. Master of Mint has died. Okay, let's see what we can get in return. Yearly Prestige might be good. Yes, let's take it. It's the only option, basically, but still. Okay, very good. Ah. Much of a heat. Accept the peace. Netherlands will force... Netherlands will be forced to give much of a heat 10% of the income. And 350 ducats. Machapahit has defeated the Netherlands. Oh dear. Machapahit is quite powerful still. We might be able to gain some more lands here just by... Uh, uh, by attacking uh, some of these dudes here. I don't like the fact that... Uh, the Westerners are now coming in here. Such as England. If I were to take lands here, then that would uh, not help us against the westerners interesting country here hmm that's the problem with being japan i suppose there's not a lot of targets going on here i would want to really want to go and uh, attack some smaller countries not Moriata, i think that's uh, probably not a good idea i think protectorate Hmm. A Korea would be nice, of course, but they are allied with Ming. They like us, by the way. That's interesting. They would like a royal marriage as well. How are we on diplomatic relations? Um, four out of four. Brunei, royal marriage and alliance. Ming, royal marriage. Priyata, military alliance. Uh, military access and alliance. And Kiowa. I think we might be able to drop Kiowa now. Since we aren't really focusing on this anymore. That will cost us 25 uh, prestige, but I think it might be good. Yes, fair enough. Um, and we can now use that slot. Do we want to use that slot is basically uh, the question here. Too bad though. Oh, too bad. Oh, they can't royal marriage, of course. Okay. So, should we royal marriage Korea? <clears throat> it's an interesting question. Uh, they are rival to Buryata. They are protective towards us. That's interesting. <laughs> Not really useful for us. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we will do this. Transferring trade power to Ming. Oh dear. 
Casas Belly against Kiowa. Yes, that's fair enough. No, we won't. Uh, I, th I don't think we will royal merge them. Hmm. Still debating this with myself. That's basically what's going on here. My thought process. Um. You know what? Why not? I suppose. Although we don't have any diplomats. There you go. Let's do it. We can actually ally them now. That's interesting as well. I don't think we will do that. Privilegion with Ming. Uh, they actually want to ally us. We could use them in a fight against against Ming, but I'm, I don't think that Ming will attack Korea because they are vassals of them. Um... Uh, interesting question here. Interesting alliance offer from Korea. Well, as I said before, it gives us a nice opportunity to uh, see if we can't recuperate just a bit more without having to fear Korea attacking us or Ming probably after that as well. But then we would need to shift our focus again. Because we can't stay here. There's nothing to do for us here. That's basically the problem. Or we should break our alliance with Buryata and attack them. That would be nice. Would that be helpful? Uh, what would happen if we were to break the alliance? Uh, let's see. Offer vassalization cannot be done. Dissolve the alliance. And will adversely affect relations. That's not something I really care about if uh, we were to attack them. They do have a 29 stack, which is pretty impressive. And they are military level 14. But we should easily be able to take them out with our 38 troops. Let's uh, do it. We accept the alliance offer from Korea with a view to attacking Buryata in the future. And that will maybe give us uh i don't know access to maybe ally allying uh, bukara in the future and of course give us a lot of land on the mainland as well it's a bit of a risk i must admit but i think it would be good um oh we don't have a lot of points right i was uh, confusing these two that makes sense um hmm i think we will have to go for this now at some point right can't wait forever and we can probably repay a loan almost. Ah, that's a shame. A recall. Still can't repay. That's a shame. Lots of total debt. Traveling monk. Naturally, we shall aid the traveler. Lose some ducats, gain 10 prestige. Yeah, so we will do it. Ah. All my money down the drain again. Why? Why? Okay, I think we will start to fabricate a claim on Udi. I think that's uh, quite a good province as well. No, development three. I thought perhaps because it's uh, at the coast here. It's the only coastal province that Buryata has. It's interesting. How does Ming like us now, though? Well, they still won't ally us, but at least they like us quite a bit. Um, yeah, we will probably dissolve the alliance with Buryata. Uh, not now, but once we uh, want to attack them. What did happen there? Oh, uh, stuff was done. They suspect probably that something is going on. How's their uh, force limit down? Buryata. 28. So they are actually over their force limit now. That's interesting. Uh, we will send you there in preparation of this uh, attack. Where's uh, the rest of our troops, actually? We've got 6k over here. That's a colony, right? Yes. But we can move you to there as well. And that's all. Okay, so we will need to build some more troops. Actually, this is not a uh, good idea. Let's move you there. Move you there as well. Because of the attrition. Of course. 24k... So we won't be able to take them on, probably, with this, uh, s with these uh, guys. I think we first will need to uh, get rid of this, uh, these loans. And then we'll be able to use our money to uh, gain some more troops. 
Okay. Uh, new Shogun. 4 2 3. And a new air. 353. Three. Very nice. Okay, very good. Oops. And uh, educated shogun. Two military power, actually. Very nice. I had not expected that. I thought it would be just plus one. Uh, that's because of the uh, education that we gave him. Foreign trade company rises. Impose uh, a new tariff. For 2.5 mechanicalism. Yes, please. Okay, and let's take a look at our shogun. He's. 425 now you make 11 military points each month very very good uh, so why can't we repay a loan yet they are massively expensive now repay bam okay still two to go but we are getting close to repaying all of our loans that were basically the result of westernization so still the effects of westernization are still rippling through time 20 years later, I think. Maybe even more. 22 years later. Very impressive. Um, okay, so we've got a 32 stack ready to go. And we will split you up and get you I don't know, over there to have some nice stacks. Okay, we've got the Casas Belli against them. There's a good recall with Sweden. They cannot invest in Lave en masse. Let's take a look at the next level here. Only 10% bonus, so I think uh, we will probably wait. Supply limit plus 50% is interesting. Cavalry shock plus one. No, I think we'll now focus on this. Bam, there we go. National Empire modifier. So this will tick, probably, yes? Yes, 53. Well, I'd expected it to be a bit more. I guess it's just a base manpower. That's fine. Manpower recovery speed will be nice as well. Uh, Terakoya, okay, conversion successful, and we will immediately send this dude, yes, uh, we don't have a quest for that, actually, got some new quests, right, let's first read this, Terakoya, the children of samurai and ruling families have always dedicated public educational institutions, often found in Buddhist temples. With the rise of the merchant class, the communists have started to demand education for everyone, some have laid forth the suggestion of Terakoya, educational institutions for commoners, which would focus on teaching reading and writing to the whole population of Japan, sometimes also teaching counting with the abacus soroban. It doesn't really add anything there, the soroban, but that's okay. History and geography. It has been clearly voiced by our people that they feel strongly about this and that we, as their rulers, should lead the way. Okay, let's see. Losing a lot of money again, which will uh, lead to another loan. Uh, but that will allow us one possible advisor and lower our tech cost. That is very interesting. Or ignore the commoners. No, we will have to go for this. Uh, it's a pity, but that's how it is. Um, there we go. So we've got possible advisor slot, basically, I think. Is what happened. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. And... Um, Tech, uh, tech cost was lowered. Okay, very nice. Tyrannical nobles turn a blind eye. Uh, nobility loses 10 loyalty. It's getting close now to 30%. Which will have some adverse effects for us. Because we'll lose the uh, tax base. And we'll gain uh, quite some bonuses here. That is good. Yes, it's all fine. Nice manpower modifier going on. Buryata is really uh, starting to rack up the troops here. I don't think they can hold out all that long if they do that. Because they are over their force limit. Uh, Gokaido. To increase our control over Japan, we should construct five century administrative routes. They have, uh, this is uh, already uh, something that we had before. Let's see. Establish the uh, provincial trade power modifier and national tax power modifier for 10 years. I guess we'll have to do it. Taking out another loan. Ah. Population increase. Right. Yes, we have taken another loan. Oh, we were so close. Four loans again. At least we are now making more money because of the... Uh, tax increase, I think. But it's still a shame. 
35 troops now. They don't trust us anymore, I think. Or they are planning on attacking Ming, which is fine as well. I don't think so. Support the thinkers. National armaments minus 2, stability cost modifier minus 10%, and idea cost minus 5%. Until the end of the game. Nice. I like it. Uh, no mission selected. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Rival of our rival. Ottoman's opinion of Japan. That's interesting. Or protect our brethren in Bhutan. No. How about this one? Legitimacy of at least 100. That will happen once this guy gets to the throne because he has a strong claim. But that's gonna take ages. Could take ages because this dude is only 16 years old. Um. I hope that that is not his son, by the way. Yeah. Can be right. 16 years, 15 years. That is uh, somewhat strange, to say the least. Uh, missions, missions. Until the death of Maurits III from Glarus. Interesting. Uh, no, I guess uh, there's not much we can do. Could we raise the Ottomans' opinion of our of us? Ah, they arrived to England. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I think we would be able to do that. Let's try it at least. Uh, rival of our rival. There we go. And let's start that. And with that, I think we will uh, put in a cut for this episode. Uh, it has been a nice episode again. Still working our way slowly towards uh, becoming a power that will have to be reckoned with when it comes to uh, attacking Ming. And to do that, we will start first. Start to uh, probably attack Buryata. Buri, buri, uh, Buriasha. I don't know. I've been saying it wrong all along, but that's fine. There you go. Um, I hope you liked this episode. If so, then uh, don't forget to leave a like. And if you like the channel, then feel free to check out some of my other stuff as well. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. That will uh, uh, give you updates whenever I release a new video. Uh, right, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.